I'm in Umeå for Rally Sweden. Doesn't get boring. Rally Sweden is the second leg in the World Rally Championship calendar, where the best drivers in the world race against the clock, the snowy and icy terrain, to see who is the fastest, and attracting fans from all around the world in the process. I'm here to learn all about it. I'll be meeting the racing drivers, fans, and even getting in the car with former world champion Art Tanak. Welcome to Rally Sweden. The World Rally Championship is one of the toughest motorsport competitions in the world, where cars drive at speed on all types of terrain. The rally is divided into stages where each car tries to get the fastest time on each stage. The car with the quickest overall time wins. The cars are highly modified road legal cars that are built for high performance in any environment, from the rocky heat of Kenya to the ice and snow in the north of Sweden, which is where we're heading today. We just arrived in Umeå and we are... Um... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, rally fans here. It seems that pretty much everyone on the plane is here for one reason and that is the World Rally Championships. I've heard Finnish, I've heard English, I've heard French, um, Spanish. So there seems to be an international crowd. Uh, right now we're looking for our friend Marie from Red Bull and she's at Europe car. It's not that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot colder. I guess I said this winter has been like one of the worst winters in many years. And especially up north, it can be like minus 30 at times. But now it's probably like, what would you say, minus five maybe? It is colder than I thought. I probably should have brought my hat. But it is what it is. I'll just tug it out. Seeing that thing now, even driving at low speed, I just know it's going to be crazy fast tomorrow and I might shit myself, but... That's right, tomorrow I'll be stepping into the car with former World Rally Champion Ot Tanak for a ride along. So today I'll be trying on my race suit, getting in the car and meeting the man himself. I'll try that one. Yep. If that doesn't work, I'll just get the next one ready. Um, maybe a bit too tight. I mean, this thing is supposed... This is up in my nose, so... Let's try this. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Let's I think... try this one. That's better. That looks much better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that should be all right, right? That looks good. Yeah. That looks much better. Yeah, I'll put awesome. this one all right. Oh, yeah, I think that will work. You can try this on for me now in a second. I yep. will leave the room. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can... Key. Time to try out the race suit. Have to judge how, how good I look. Okay, so we're going to do a fit check here. I've got the racing overalls. This is the first time I'm in a race suit, and it, and it feels great. I feel like I maybe picked the wrong career. The thing that I've always wanted to do that, what I always think racing drivers look so cool. They don't, <laughs> not like this. They don't look cool when I'm taking, taking it off, but wait. Like this, when they're just chilling and they just ha have the overalls like this and they're just chatting to their friends, they have their, their tea or whatever. I always thought this looked so cool. Like. In between races. Woo, exciting. Thierry was the winner of Monte Carlo. Wow. So have a very good start of the season, so we're really happy. Yeah. Yeah. When you go to the shakedown tomorrow morning, um, yeah, uh, the first corner is always a different feeling. Uh, get to get, try to get used to it again. And then doing the rally, obviously, yeah, uh, it's easy to get stuck in a snowbank, so you need to be very yeah. careful. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, cool. Yeah, first time. We'll first time. Yeah. Wow. I'm yeah. going to be co-driving. Yeah. Ah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Everybody says that I'm gonna like be shitting myself afterwards. So. Uh, it might be, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't gonna tell you more, so you're gonna, you don't, you're gonna discover it tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You bounce between the snowbanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use the snowbanks actually yeah, to keep the car on the road. So it's huh? a bit like a video game. <laughs> oh, like you, uh, like on yeah. the side and yeah, you, yeah. you can oh. actually bounce the snowbank to to kick the car back on the road. So yeah. So it's basically like Mario Kart, but in real life. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit, maybe not that square, but yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, that sounds good. That sounds fun. And a bit scary as well. You will find out. You will find out. I will find out, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. I don't want to tell you too much, you know, you need to discover yourself a bit. So. 200 kph in the, in the forest? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty... I think tomorrow it will be kind of, yeah. There are, in the beginning it's a section with 200 kph, so it should be okay. That's going to be... Will there be any air activity? Will we be jumping? It's, it gets bumpy in the forest, yeah. The, let's say the trees come close and the road gets bumpy. The trees come close? Yeah, yeah, they will come That close. sounds amazing. <laughs> It's going to be a relaxing, relaxing ride. Have a good sleep, relax. <laughs> yeah. It's actually really uh, snug. It's quite comfortable for me. I think it's like, it's almost like built around me. But sitting in here now, it's kind of like, I'm kind of realizing I'm just stuck in a metal box and we're going to be flying around. Oh, wow. We're going to be flying around at like 200 kph. But I don't know if we're comfortable flying like at 200 kph. <laughs> Du får en sån adrenalinkick liksom när du sitter där bredvid chauffören. Det går snabbt, det är kurvor, det är hopp, det är alltihopa sånt där. Och sen när vi var klara liksom och allting bara liksom... När, när du kommer ner i varv igen, det tog mig säkert 45 minuter. Ja. Efter vi gjorde det, innan, innan jag liksom kom ner. Det var ju kaninpuls och det var... Men själva upplevelsen, otroligt häftigt. Ja. Otroligt häftigt. Så du är inför världens ride imorgon alltså. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am ready, it's the next day. And I'm about to uh, get in the car with Art Tanak. And we've been sitting out in the, I don't know, the chill out area and watching the drivers practice. It looks really, really fast. I'm a bit scared, but I think it's going to be fun. Off to a great start, forgot the pace notes. What a beautiful day in Umeå, Sweden. I feel surprisingly calm. I think that will um, change soon. <laughs> Good. Hey, listen, it's, no, poker it's face. Just... No, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, this is light work. Easy, um, easy. It's like it's like when you're when you press fast forward on a movie or something. Like it doesn't feel it doesn't. My eyes and my brain are like uh, they're not working together. I don't know something is wrong, but it's 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 insane, incredible. How did the experience match your expectations? I didn't really know what to expect to be fair. So, but this was uh, I don't even know. I'm, I'm lost for words. Clearly, I don't even know what to say. It was crazy. That was insane. It was. Uh, Amazed by the traction and the speed. I see it. Yeah, it's crazy. Nej. Det finns och så här. Och men du kommer inte uppleva samma sak för det här är så okontrollerat på något sätt. Förstår du? Eller hur förstår jag? Ja, exakt. Det är så jävla rough. Ja. Alltså det är så här första accelerationen. Jag är inte så van med med vad jag racespelar så jag bara skrek första. Sen jag bara okay, jag kanske ska sluta skrika så här liksom. Och sen så var jag bara tyst och bara njöt och skit för det var så här. Nej, det var galet. Kurvorna, va? Kurvorna och bara tajmingen och allting. Och... Ja, taj- de har ju sån jävla tajming. Det är sjukt. För han bara så här svänger in. Jag bara, ah, fan ska vi in i väggen nu? Och sen så bara, ah, nej, det var en kurva där. Och det var så här... ja, hela tiden tror man bara, nu, nu slår vi i vallen alltså. Men det är så lugnt. Du vet, vilket grepp det är. Tror du att du hade gjort eh, bra? Du har ju kört förut. Jag har ju kört kategorin under. Ja. Men jag åkte inte direkt så där. Nej, nej, jag fattar, jag fattar. Jag bara pröva. Nej, det är fan galet. Jag vet inte vad som skulle hända. Jag skulle köra Ah. För jag, skulle, jag har ju åkt med så jag vet hur det ska kännas, ah. men det är ju inte lätt. Ah, sjukt, men det var över så jävla fort också. Det bara jag, vet, minuter. jag vet, det är det man tänker direkt man går i mål bara, jag vill bara fortsätta. Jag vill göra det igen, eller ja. Men jag sa till det också, jag bara så här, you get excited or is this just like another day in the office? Han bara, another day in the office. Alltså han var ju, alltså han ja. bara tvärt. Han, Tenak är också så här, lugnast av alla. Han var fett lugn. Han bara sitter där. It doesn't look very easy to drive these cars. Uh, so just like how how long have you been like racing uh, in general? Well, is it something you started when you were young? Well, I, I really started when I was in medicine. So th- this is why religion is so nice. Is I started I was 22 years old, and from nothing I just paid 20 euro to a selection. I won the selection. I won then I won one year in French Junior Championship, 
Then the year after I won it, then I went to the WRC where we are here. Uh, with the lower category for sure, then I have grew up until there. So it was quite quick in seven years. That's incredible. And what would you say is the most challenging aspect of being a rally driver? Different surfaces. You come Monte Carlo, it's tarmac with ice. You come here, it's snow. And then we go to Kenya, middle of the wildlife on gravel. And then after you go another rally on tarmac, then gravel, but it's everything is different. Then we go to Finland, it's flat like here, but on gravel. So this is why rallying is so special. Yeah, that's incredible. And, and what would you say, what are the fans like? What are the rally fans like? How can you describe them? Well, the rally fans are the best in the world. You imagine they are minus 20, 25 waiting for us to, to pass in front of them. But they, they are waiting because it's so nice to see these cars passing at that speed in the snow that it's it, it worth to do it. Well, thank you so much for your time and good luck. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we are at this special stage one, also known as the super stage. Um, it's part of the competition, but as you can see, it's a bit more of a spectacle, a bit more of a show. So we're here, there's people on stage, there's lots of fans here, and we're gonna experience it as, as rally fans. So yeah, let's go. So now all the cars and the drivers are coming out before the opening stage. I'm freezing. I'm really cold, but it's nice. Okay, it's about three minutes until the rally starts. We've just seen the fireworks and we're gonna stand here among the fans and watch the cars. Okay, so it's 9.49, um, stage three is about to start. Uh, yeah, we're waiting for the first car, so it should be coming any minute now. Okay, so we've just been relocated to uh, this side of the corner. Uh, we just saw one car passing by. So this has been snowing. The first cars are actually a bit slower on average because there's a lot of, well, yeah, new snow on the track. So you want to be somewhere in the middle where a few cars have gone past and kind of cleared the track away. But yeah, we get a nice, we get a nice slide. There's some fans over there as well on the side, getting close to the action. Oh, I hear a car. I hear a car coming. I know what that's like. I know what that's like. <laughs> it doesn't get boring. I love this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. The dome in this snow is really deep. It's going to be a long day. Founded this team and you you built it from the ground up. I just I don't really know where to start, but like, what's what's that like? Can you take us through the whole journey? <laughs> the whole journey. Well, basically, uh, from a very early age, all I ever wanted to do was drive in rallies, which I did. Um, I had reasonable success, British champion, sort of three times, and then. But I'd always been interested in business, so I started a motorsport business in 1979 basically supplying rally parts and then eventually I always used to build my own car and then eventually selling cars. So basically since uh, 1997 I've been responsible for running the whole Ford World Rally team right up until this present day. I guess lastly what's the what's the most fun part about running the team? Uh, the, the most fun part to be honest it's 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 the success and uh, to see see what it means to everybody in the team when you know when you win a world rally or you win a world title um, because at the end of the day, you know, it's it's all about the people that, that you employ, uh, and certainly I couldn't do it without without them. And it's just it's just an incredible feeling, you know.
know, when you think what you've come and you've tackled the world and you've won at the highest level and what it and you can see the pride and what it means to everybody that works for you. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, we're heading to the spectator area to, uh, yeah, spectate, look at some cars, and hopefully talk to some passionate rally fans. Um, as you can see, we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere, um, out in the deep in the woods, in, well, around the Umeå area. And uh, yeah, this is part of, part of the rally experience. You, you go to these remote locations and Stand by the side of the road and look at some fast cars. I mean, it's not bad. We only had a few hours left before our flight back home, but we did meet some passionate fans who had come all the way from Ireland to watch the rally. Crazy speeds. Yes, yeah, so who are you guys here supporting? Um, Neuville. Been a big fan for a long time? Yeah, we have been, yeah. We um, yeah, we follow them about. So you travelled all the way to Sweden just for this? Yeah, we, we come the whole way from Ireland uh, yesterday. And how are you finding it so far? Yeah, we're loving it. It's a great experience here in the snow. Is there a big rally community in Ireland, would you say? Yeah, massive in Ireland. Massive uh, sport in Ireland. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And with that, it was time to head home. But what an incredible three days I'd had at Rally Sweden. From the ride along with Ott Tanak, experiencing the sheer speed at which these drivers operate and the skill required to push the car to the absolute limit. The mechanics, the engineers, the team bosses, all coming together to put on an epic battle for the fans to experience. A big thank you to the WRC and Red Bull. I will definitely be attending more races.